about three guesses where we're going. That feeling you get as you walk into Universal. We finally got here. We have not been here for a year and so much has changed. There's Voodoo Donuts over there. I don't think they have it. Emporium. So you can see it over there. That looks amazing. We're gonna try that one. There was a Mexican up there. This is the entrance to Islands of Adventure. It's not too busy because we have come in the afternoon. It was um, an idea to try and get less queues and a less busy park. Um, so we're gonna do. We're, well, it's five o'clock now. So we're doing like an evening. The park shuts at nine o'clock. And we'll see how that goes, but if you look at the desks here, there's um, there's no queues at all. I mean, in the morning, you'd be queuing right back there, so this is a good start. Okay, we got in really quickly, so that's brilliant. And I'm just going to show you here, this is where you go to get the disability pass, um, which will allow you to get on the rides without queuing, which is great. Um, it's just in this door here in the corner at Guest Services. So we got the disability pass um, and then it started tipping it down the rain outside um, so I couldn't tell you about it until we got to where we're going. Um, but the uh, the disability access pass that you get, um, you didn't have to show any, any form of proof or anything which is great and um, I did have to describe why um, my son couldn't deal with cues and stuff so um, I think that's their way of working out whether you can actually need it or not. Um, basically they give you a card and the card, um, it will, if the queue is less than 30 minutes they'll send you straight down the fast pass queue. If the queue is more than 30 minutes they'll give you a return time to come back to the ride for your whole party, um, however many people are with you. Uh, we also complain about the parking because today when we arrive we ask for disabled parking where we normally park no problem at all and they didn't give it to us which meant my son had a meltdown on the way in, which wasn't ideal. Um, they refunded the parking, which is great, that saved me $22 anyway. And they gave me a little business card, which um, has a number on it that goes on the system and says that you can get disability parking. So if we have any more trouble, we can just show that on the gate, which is great. Parking sorted for the rest of the week, disability park sorted. Um, it took a bit longer than expected. And um, so instead of going on the rides, we've gone straight to eat some tea and we're at Mythos, um, which is a Greek themed restaurant. And I'm going to show you that in a second. It's pretty cool, you can see the chefs doing the cooking. Um, I can't remember which way I came. But we're sat just down here.
the Universal Fireworks are amazing. Um, you have to get there early if you want to get somewhere where you can see properly. There is a disability viewing area but we didn't quite get there in time so we ended up around the side. It's very crowded, there are a lot of people who want to see it. Um, it's also very loud. Um, there are projections of lights on buildings, fireworks, fountains, lights. It's brilliant, but it is very loud. You might want to hear defenders. Building disappearing. I'm that one, I'm Gryffindor. All the house pullers. Oh. 